You've heard of warm cookies, but what about worm cookies? These are the top 10 most disgusting foods from your favorite middle grade books. Crow Food from Warriors by Erin Hunter. Crow food is spoiled food covered in maggots. It's seen as a bad omen, and it always gives the warrior cats belly aches. Cemetery Soup from More Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark by Alvin Schwartz. Cemetery soup consists of water, carrots, green beans, corn, barley, onions, potatoes, a snitch of beef, salt and pepper, and a bone from the cemetery. Legend has it that a ghost will come demanding their bone back once the soup has simmered. Parsley Soda from A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. Parsley soda is just parsley in plain club soda. It may be unpleasant to taste, but as Esme Squalor puts it, it's not delicious, but it is in. Miss Mush's Porridge from Wayside School by Lewis Sacker. With Miss Mush's ability to both overcook and undercook a meal, her specialty is porridge, which is actually nothing more than a bowl of mud. Nikawa from Septimus Heap by Angie Sage. This drink is made by pouring a muddy brown liquid with tendrils of floating mold in a glass and topping it off with a raw egg. Though it tastes mm -hmm. disgusting, mm -hmm. it is said to help settle nerves. Squiggly Spaghetti from The Twits by Roald Dahl. Made up mostly of spaghetti, tomato sauce, and cheese, this dish's special ingredient is worms, making it squishy with a nasty bitter taste. Ugh. Cockroach Clusters from Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. Looking alarmingly similar to peanuts, these sweets are actually made of cockroaches, making them the perfect treat for pranking friends. Chocolate Chip Worm Cookies from Super Fudge by Judy Bloom. Mrs. Mulder grinds up worms for her special worm cookies, adding it to the flour for an extra vitamin boost. With plenty of chocolate chips, you can barely taste the worms. Fudge even asks for seconds. Chocolate Cake from Matilda by Roald Dahl. This isn't a normal chocolate cake. It's made with actual blood, sweat, and tears from the chef. That doesn't stop Bruce from polishing the whole thing off in a victory against the Trunchbull. Cocoa Beetles from Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Coraline's other mother snacks on some black beetles, gently removing their legs before eating their bodies. They're presented like a box of chocolates, but the pretty presentation doesn't make them any less disgusting.